Hey, what's going on, Crosstown Leaders? Um, just want to give you a quick update from this past weekend. We had our uh, Candytown Superhero Edition event, um, and it was a huge, huge success. I know a lot of you were able to um, at least be here. Some of you were even able to help out in different uh, different ways for that. Uh, just a couple of updates on that. This was probably our biggest uh, event we've ever done in the fall um, as far as attendance and, and getting people to attend. We had... Um, 795 people in the children's ministry at our Hampton campus. Um, that's not counting our Deer Lakes and Ambridge campus, but just the Hampton campus. 795 people who were in the gym, in the elementary experience, or uh, downstairs in the early childhood experience. It was it was amazing. It uh, it blew my expectations out of the water. It was it was a really great successful event. Um, our primary goal of doing this event was to be able to reach people who don't know Jesus, um, to get people connected to the church who are not already connected to a church. So um, I think we were able to do that in many ways. I know specifically there was uh, one little girl that goes to school with my daughter who came uh, that we invited. Then there's a little boy that was on my son's soccer team that I helped to coach who was able to come. Um, so we were able to enjoy that experience with them. Um, and just get them here connected to the church, had great conversations with them after the event. Um, in total, we had uh, 131 first-time kids attend uh, the Hampton campus. So it was an amazing event. Um, what I want to do is I want to want to just pause and, and talk about um, something that is a little bit of a point of tension uh, in many churches. So we did this big event, and... Um, it was a clear gospel presentation. Uh, I was able to present the gospel to all the elementary kids that were there and talked about how Jesus died on the cross to um, to really make a way for us to access God. And he, he kind of removes the sin that separates us from God. I was um, able to break some bricks to illustrate that, kind of a fun way to do that um, with the superhero theme. Um, the, the tension point comes in um, how much do you want to focus on... Um, reaching people that don't know Jesus, and uh, how much do you want to focus on discipling uh, different people and, and causing them to draw closer to Jesus? And I want to just um, kind of address the, those two things. So there's there's two passages. Uh, these are both passages at the end of one of the Gospels. There's a passage in Mark. There's a passage in, in Matthew. Um, and this kind of gives you Jesus' perspective on this. Um, the, the passage in Matthew, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this. This is a uh, a verse that many of us have, have heard uh, a lot of times. It's Matthew 28, 19. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. So this is basically saying go out and make disciples. It's about discipleship. It's about taking people into a deep relationship with God. Um, and then there's, there's a passage in Mark. Um, it's going to sound pretty similar, uh, but it, he says, Jesus says this, um, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. So that's that's really talking about more of an evangelistic thing, uh, going out and sharing the gospel to people that don't know Jesus. Um, so those are, are really two things, but it, it, in, in the presentation, it's basically Jesus saying the same thing. Uh, many times we uh, we like to separate it and say, well, uh, we we want to be evangelistic. We want to go out and reach people. We want to be uh, be able to to, to um, give the gospel to everybody that comes. Uh, and then other people would say, well, we we want to have something that has depth to it. We want to be able to grow in our relationship with God. Jesus saw these two things as being the same. Um, so I, I love what we did this past weekend, and it was primarily focused on new believers and evangelism, taking families and kids that don't know Jesus and and, and introducing them uh, to the gospel, talking about the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection. Um, that's that's an evangelistic purpose, which Jesus is talking about when he says, go into all the world and, and preach the gospel. Um, tell everybody about about the, the good news that you heard. But then he also says, go go and make disciples. And when you talk about discipleship, it's all about depth. It's about taking people from, from where they are and taking them to their potential, taking them to the, the point that God is calling them to be. And as we're ministering to kids, um, I want to just, just point to the fact that what we're doing primarily on Wednesday night is discipleship. Um, we're, we want to accomplish both evangelism and discipleship, but we want to take every child that comes into our ministry and make them reach their potential that they have in Christ. Make them, uh, make them really tap into the calling that God has on their lives. So what does this mean for us? Um, 
I really hope and pray that uh, many of these 131 kids that came for the very first time uh, this past weekend to Candytown, I hope that they stick. Um, that they, they would get connected, they would begin to come cross town on the weekends and eventually get plugged in on Wednesday nights and uh, get connected to all of our ministries. And what I want to see happen is I want to see every child in our children's ministry um, grow to reach the potential that they have. Uh, that's our job. That's what we do. Um, so this past weekend, we had all those kids come. Uh, they had a great experience. They had fun. They heard the gospel. That's the beginning step. And we want to take every child from that beginning step and move them through a process until ultimately they reach their full potential in Christ. Uh, I want I want our kids to be future pastors. I want our kids to be future missionaries. I want to be our uh, our kids to be future um, businessmen that are that are. Um, making lots of money and, and being able to give towards kingdom efforts, to being able to give to missions and, and, and things like that. I, I believe we have future doctors, we have future politicians, we have uh, future worship leaders and children's pastors, um, and we have, we have future lawyers, people that are going to do all kinds of things. But what the one thing that I want to do for each child is help them get to the place that God is calling them. Um, uh, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, I know the plans that I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you. So here's what I want, want you to understand. Every child has a unique plan that's designed for them, a God plan for their lives, um, to make an impact and make a difference. And our job as leaders on Wednesday night is to help them get to that place where they're able to fulfill that plan. And, um, what's, what's great and what's unique and what's often challenging is, is in your group, you're going to have that child that's never been to church before and until this past weekend at Candytown who comes, they get connected, and they know nothing. Then you also have a kid that's been at church multiple times a week for their entire lives. Uh, we have the incredible opportunity and challenge to work with both of those kids and try to figure out what is the best way to take each child as an individual through a process to ultimately help them reach their potential and fulfill the plan of God uh, on their lives, the calling that God has on their lives. So I want to just, um, again, talk about that tension point of evangelism and discipleship. And sometimes we like to make them competing, but the reality is they're both just part of the same process. We want to take eight, each child um, introduce them to Jesus and help them reach their full potential. And those two things have to work together. Uh, we have different avenues to do those things. Your primary role is discipleship and taking each kid that interacts with you, that engages in our ministry and help them to reach their full potential. Um, so hopefully over the next couple weeks, these kids that came for the first time are going to get plugged in. They're going to start coming and I want you to be looking out for them. What I would challenge you to do right now is look at each one of your kids um, and think about what is their next step in their development. If the ultimate goal is for them to reach the, the potential that they have, the calling that God has on their lives, how can we take each child and help them take that step in the right direction to move closer to the ideal plan, the plan that God has for them in their lives? Think about that. I'll see you guys all this coming Wednesday. Looking forward to it. We're going to have a great week. Um, and if you need anything, please let me know. Let Pastor Sarah know. We'd love to be able to help you out with that. Uh, but looking forward to another great week of ministry. Love you guys.